See you later summer because this week is back to school for many families in our region and as adults it can be fun to reflect on our own first day of school memories. Now for some kids the return to class offers a great opportunity to show off a brand new backpack or a haircut or style. So we thought it would be fun to head into the KGW vault to find an old story about back to school fashion to see what's changed and of course what hasn't. Guess what we found a story from more than 30 years ago highlighting what was in back then. Here is reporter Tom Fuller from August of 91. Customer assistance, cash wrap five, please. And so it begins again, the annual August rush to outfit the kids for school. And so does the perennial fight between what feels good on and what fits good in the budget. Probably t-shirts and jeans like it always is. <laughs> it's not, doesn't change much from year to year. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. That's it's okay with you? No. So what's big this fall? And they're called thermal heat sensitive t-shirts and they um, change color with your body temperature. Price, 15 to $20. Very hot item, uh, the beach pants. Just elastic waist, slack, elastic on the bottom. They run small, medium, large, extra large, $14.97. So easy to fit, easy wear. And at 15 bucks, pretty easy on the budget, too. The little leggings are real popular for little girls. They love that um, spandex, real comfortable. It moves with you. This in the little overalls is very popular. This is a, a skirt. It also comes in the pant overall. Crested pocket is important on the pocket. They like that crested influence too. Overall, the main influence for back to school seems to come again from down south. California influence is important. Just loose, easy fit, bright colors. And that's different from past fall seasons when earth tones were in. This little item is also quite popular this fall. It's influenced by the 60s with a big floral print, but has sheer fabric in the wrist and waist. And what are parents spending this fall? I would say they're spending in the, they're usually buying the child each like a couple new outfits, two or three new outfits, so probably 100 to 150 per child. That's a little more than last year. This woman plans to spend over double that, though. Well, we just go into a shop and it's okay, there you go. <laughs> Find what you want, <laughs> then we get out the credit card. Tom Fuller, News 8. You know the thing that really caught my eye there? The carbon paper credit card thing. I mean, when's the last time we saw one of that, right? I mean, the fashion, one thing aside, those things come back. Those things, I think, are God for good. That's it.